Hi, th this is Kathy, and I wanted to show you how I made these cards. We did these in club um, earlier this year, and with the new catalog, you might be wanting to use up some of your retired um, design series paper. So I'm going to show you how to do this herringbone technique. And what you're going to need is a piece of Whisper White cardstock, three and three quarters by five inches, and a piece of um, an adhesive sheet, four by five and a quarter. And we sell these adhesive sheets in the catalog on page 174, multi-purpose adhesive sheets. And you get 12 sheets for $14.95, and they go a long way. Okay, so to make this card, we're just going to do this, what's called a herringbone technique. And you're going to need a piece of 3 and 3 quarters by 5, Whisper White. It could really be any color. And then the adhesive sheet. And your, the adhesive sheet, I cut a little bit bigger than this, just to give you some area to play with. So you're going to pull off the top layer of this, and you're going to put the white on top. It's very sticky. And then just rub it. And when you rub it, the adhesive is sticking to the back of this. So you want to make sure you get it all to the edges. Sometimes I put this on top. And rub over the entire thing. Make sure you get it all completely covered. And then you're going to peel this away, and the sticky is left on here. And this is just trash. Okay, so now you're going to work on this. And you're going to need a lot of little strips of paper. And all different sizes. These are three eighths, a half an inch, a quarter inch, whatever. And the first strip you're going to cut across your um, cardstock, something like this, and just put it down. Notice it's on the center, not off center here. And then you're going to take another piece and go perpendicular and butt this up like this and off to the side. Rub that so it's sticking. So this is sticking down here. And then we're going to take another piece, put it over here, perpendicular to the first piece. Okay. So now you have one, two, three, four areas of this card that you're going to fill in. So you can really pick anywhere to start. And I'm going to start here. Okay, so now you want to make sure it's all down nice and tight. And you're going to pick this up, and then you're just going to trim off the back. Now you could use your paper trimmer for this. I find that those snips are just as easy. This is how you get the little angled pieces when you do it, when you have to straighten them out. So when you're all done, you can look at your card, and then I have a mat, which is four by five and a quarter, and you can decide which color you like best. It really pops on some colors more so than the others, and you might have a preference on which one you like. I think I'm going to do this one. And then you have your same color card. So you're going to adhere this to the mat and then to the card front. And you'll see you can get lots of different really color combinations. They look really, really nice. And depending if you're going to give it to a guy or a girl, you might want to make a difference. Okay, so if that's the one I want to do, then I'm just going to adhere them all down with the snail. And then you can, again, add your... Um, Happy birthday. This is from the um, U.S.
your amazing stamp set using the frame widths to cut that out. And here's one using um, Teeny Tiny Wishes. You can make it whatever you want it to do and just finish it off however you like. Thanks for stopping by. Visit my blog for more project ideas.